Hello and welcome back. So we are receiving uh, results here as predicted, but uh, we have a few problems. The first one being, <clears throat> if I click search, let's see here. If I put spaces like this, it will still search and okay, it will find no results. But let's say I type vibe, but I put a space like this. If I type search, it will say no results were found. Now, I may spend a whole day scratching my head as to why this name wasn't found, not knowing that there's a space at the end here. So to prevent that, we come back to single class here and put the trim function here to remove trailing and uh, leading spaces on this thing here. That way, if I try to search for vibe like this, even with the spaces there, it still finds it. Okay, that's well and good. The second thing is, this is, uh, this will run for as long as we're on the lecturer ad and we submit something. But we need to know, first of all, whether we are searching or adding a lecturer. So in our case here, we have to check if is set uh, post search. So we say if is set post search, then we're searching. Okay, so here instead of add, it's find lecturer. So let's move this inward. Put our brackets like so. Okay, so if it's set post search, then we're searching. So let's come back and see if that happens. Boom, it still finds it. Okay, pretty good. And then the last thing now is uh, here we're going to put an else statement so that we can add the user. Uh, we'll put another if statement here. Let's put that statement here. If is search, if is set post selected like this, then we'll know that we are adding a lecturer here. So add lecturer. Alrighty then, that's good. Okay, so now the thing is, let's come back here. This is all good uh, looking at the results like this, but sometimes it helps to see an image of the user. So here we have something like this where we can actually see which lecturer we are talking about, the name or this here and the rank also. So maybe we may want to use this kind of thing, but we shouldn't create many versions of this, so we'll have to use the same one here to keep things organized. That way, once we change one, everything changes. So here, what we'll do is back to our add uh, interface. Instead of adding all this, let me remove all that. Let's remove the table and this whole thing here. Results we have found, this is all good. Let's just remove the table contents. Now, I just want to add the PHP include. And let's do the uh, views path user like this, and then close that like so. So what this will do is that now the results will come as one of the others. So let's try Mr. Vibe again. And this is what we get, Mr. Vibe. So the container fluid, let's try justify content uh, center. Uh, maybe that'll work. Let's try again. Nah, doesn't seem to work to move the content in the center. Justify content center. How did I do it in the users.view so container fluid card group justify content center 
I guess that's what it needs. So back here, a, we'll do this, replace the classes like so with card group and justify content center. Okay, there we go. So we have the center. Now, the thing is we have viewed this, we'll be able to see the image as well here, which is very nice. The problem is we want to be able to select. So let's add another button here. So let me come back to user include.php. So we have a, a button here already for the profile, but let me duplicate this. And what I want to do is add a class of float end so that it goes to the other side. And then I want to change this to a button so that it can actually submit some content. I'll put button here. Okay. Let's remove the href. Boom. Like so. And let's put this as select. And primary change to danger. Like that. Okay. So refresh, resend, and there we go. Select. So this is all uh, good. But the problem is if we go to things like staff, we're going to see the select here, which is pointless at this at this side. But before we go any further, I want to give it a name first. And this name is going to be selected. And let's give it a value. I don't know if this actually works, but value is like that. And what I want to do is see if I will get a value here. So I'll say show. Uh, I'll put this above here. Let me not forget my PHP terms. I'll say show. Post. I want to see what we will get. Yes. So while we're here, search. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. So that's the search. And if I click on this instead, oh, it doesn't submit because there is no form. So let's add a form, shall we? And let's say method post very nice let me move this to beyond that like so Kemper robbery search again let's click this time oopsie so there are no results here so I should put this outside this like so let's refresh and resend Okay, so you see now there's selected and there's value there, which is awesome because now I can put the value of, which is the user ID here. Okay, so which is all good. This is what I wanted to test here and it works very, very well. So we'll leave the form here because we will need to use it. So I'll just indent this like so. And let's remove that. Yeah, everything else remains the same. Okay, pretty cool. Now in the include here, instead of value like this, we want to add an actual value. So copy this and put it here. The actual value will be the user ID. User ID, like this. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So if I come back here and refresh, let's refresh one more time. Oh, let's search for our user. Okay, so now if we select, uh, we would have selected that user. Okay, now we want this to only appear at certain instances. So in the URL here, we don't want it to appear here. We want to make sure that in the URL, there is a mod for selecting and then it will appear. So right about here, I'm just going to 
add an if statement to make sure that it only appears at certain times. So I'll say PHP like this, and I'm going to say if, I'll put an if statement, and say if is set, like so, get full column. The get variable select. Okay. If is set select, then we know we are selecting a user. Then we can show this and if full colon, oh, semicolon, sorry, and close that like so. So what will happen now is that it will disappear here and it will also disappear on this when I search for a result. But we can fix that by adding the select to the add lecturer here. So let's go to where we want to add lecturer. And where is that? In the uh, class, where is that? Cla not classes view. Uh, is it? No, 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 single class, that's the one. So here, because we're going to be selecting students and we'll be selecting lecturers. So right where we say tab is equal to lecturer, we'll put an and here and say and select. We can give it a fake value like true, which is irrelevant, but uh, it captures the point. So at the end here, lecturer, and then you put an and select is equal to true. This tells the, we'll put it here as well for student. This tells it that we are in select mode now. So if I click add, and now I search for vibe, oopsie, that isn't working because it's not there here for some reason. Let's come back and refresh the page back here. Ah, it's at the wrong place. Sorry, my bad. Let's cut this out here. I added it to the wrong place. I'm supposed to add it on the add. So where is that? In this file here, class tab lecturers. Yes. So that's class tab lecturers. Boom that include. So here, where I say lecturer add, I'll put an and select is equal to true. I'll do the same thing for the student include, right? It doesn't even have the link yet. So that's all good. We can just leave it on the lecture. Once we copy the link to the other side, then we can add it there too. So yeah, that's okay. So refresh here add a lecturer, boom. Now let's try vibe search and it has the select button here. When we click, it submits and adds the lecturer to the list. Alrighty then, great. In the next video, let's create the models for our new tables.